welcome to day whatever it is of the lockup. Uh, do be careful of people um, who use government controlled language. People that you know are speaking about the lockdown. This is a piece of propaganda that is just repeated ad infinitum. It's not a lockdown, it's a lockup. And you guys need to get back into your houses and stop coming out here for feeble excuses like an ice cream or a burger or biscuits. I mean, this strictly, you know, this strictly, this should be time when you only come out when you really, really need something. I don't know, let's say maybe a banana might be okay. Some nuts, perhaps. Perhaps a little bit of brown rice. Guys, look at all these people upstairs over here. Look, they're staying inside whilst you go out to buy cakes and alcohol. You're stood outside, you plump. I'm stood outside? Yes, I know, but I'm waiting in the queue here. <laughs> for the organic shop. Okay, it's for the organic shop. It's okay. I have an excuse. Hello there. Good afternoon. How's it going, being locked up? You're trying to work? What are you doing? Do you mind my asking? Um, not much now that now that I'm doing this. So this is a welcome break. What do you do? Do you mind my asking? What exactly do you do when you're working? Go on. Is it essential? Is your work essential? You're at home. I understand, but is your work essential? Because if it's not, then why are you spending your life doing things that aren't essential? Why am I spending my life doing this? That's a fair question, but I did ask first, didn't I? And what about you up there? What are you doing? You all right? You cool? You chilled? Yeah, great, nice one. What about you, sir? How are you doing up there? Can I just say, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to invite everybody to clap all these people who have managed to avoid killing members of their household. If you have gone through this, being shacked up with someone that you didn't really like that much in the first place, please give yourself a big round of applause for not killing someone. Very good. I'm not saying you shouldn't stay at home. I do think most of you belong at home. Or basically, when you go out, you never do anything useful. You buy rubbish, stuff you don't need. You're doing nonsense. So yes, stay at home. If you're not, if you're not essential, if you're not basically doing something essential, you might as well just stay at home, right? That, I, I agree with that wholeheartedly. I mean, I don't, do you watch the news, sir? If you could stand a little further back, please, if you do. Thank you. He's near enough. If he watches the news, he's near enough, because I can hear him talk. You want to stay well away from someone that watches the news so far that you can't hear a word they're saying. Because well, what sort of state are you going to be in if you watch that? It's deliberately programmed to make you feel a certain way, huh? isn't it? The question I have for you, sir, is, is your work essential? Would you say that building a shopping centre is strictly essential. If I were you, I would speak to my boss and get yourself furloughed for a couple of months and you could have a nice little break like everybody else. Who cares? The government make it all up anyway. It's only digits. Don't be silly. Just some digits. I'm, I'm out here to make sure that people are not behaving, doing anything that's not essential. And I would say to you that you two are not doing anything really essential. <laughs> Alright then, you carry on then. I'm just trying to help you, trying to get you out of having to work, that's all. You like working? Alright, we'll get back to it then. Now, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody knows whether it's morning, afternoon or evening anymore, of course. What sort of food do people eat during a pandemic? Probably a lot of sugary things, you know, just to take the edge off that uh, death anxiety that's been so pumped into us. Woo! We're going to die! Oh, oh no! Yes, we are. Come on, guys. What's wrong with a little bit of death? Just to think that everybody that died in the last year, they got no more problems. Unlike you lot. Even if your problems are what to buy in Waitrose. Still problem, isn't it? So ladies and gentlemen, here we are in Islington and we've got a couple of guys locked up behind bars. What have you been doing? How come you're behind bars, guys? You still look quite nice. You don't look the criminal type, but if you have been, have you been breaking the rules? What have you been doing? Why are you so close to each other? 
What's going on? Why are you so close to each other? Get away from each other. You're both spreaders. Thank God you're locked up. I wish we could lock up all these spreaders here outside Superdrug. I bet none of them are really getting anything essential. You can't really get that. There's not much, much essential in Superdrug, is there? I mean, look at it. Not really get much essentials, really. What, makeup? Do you, you know, antiperspirant. You don't have to worry about body odour. Nobody's going to smell it anyway. You go in there for. Oh, the makeup. There are some people here who are just not taking this seriously. Because there are always people like that, aren't there? There are always people like that, boys and girls, that just don't take this seriously enough. Unlike these lovely people up there who are staying inside, I hope. I mean, actually, can I ask you, what's your excuse for coming out of your house? To find out what's happening? Unfortunately, that is not an essential activity. I'm going to have to ask you to please go back inside, please. We don't want you to spread the lurgy. Get back in and close the windows. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, you must close the windows when you're in. We don't want any of the lurgy coming out of your house or into your house, so just keep the windows closed, even in the sweltering heat. You two, can I ask you, have you been with each other since the beginning of the lockdown, or did you just meet on Tinder? You're like this all the time? All right, then. But aren't you worried about catching COVID from each other? Oh, you drink a lot of brandy and vodka. Oh, you heard that one. That Prime Minister said it just needed a lot of vodka, apparently. I didn't realise that. All right. A lot of cocaine as well, yeah. Any police officers here? How's, how's it been? How's the lock-up been? By the way, lockdown is government propaganda word. Yeah? Don't say those words. It's all part of the trick. Yeah, it's like... You know, it's 101 propaganda, you just repeat, you make up words and just repeat them, social distancing, social distancing, draw a couple of lines, you know, and before you know it, these guys are obeying. Isn't it beautifully peaceful though? What do you think? Isn't it lovely? Peaceful, look, all these people here, you realise that these people here and you guys, unless you're working from home, right? Are you working from home, you two? Or are you just, yeah, not fantastic, wonderful, why would you want it? But anyway, all the people who are not working at the moment are basically, who have been working, basically that means that what you've been doing isn't really essential, which means you've basically wasted your life away up until now, right? So, um, you know, standing outside Superdrug is definitely a step up, really, from what you were doing before, probably. Uh, shut up. You remind me of my psychotherapist. She used to say that to me. Usually when I'd gone on an extra half an hour after the 50 minute slot, I'd go, shut up now, that's enough now. It's fine. By the way, if anybody here wants to take out any of their anger on me now, you know, as if, you know, as if it's my fault that you're all tensed up and it's nothing to do with the death anxiety that's been pumped into our reality on the, on the mainstream media. Ah! We're all going to die! Ah! Yes, we're going to die. Yes, it's all right. It, ladies and gentlemen... When you next see anything about, you know, there are people dying, yeah, ask yourself, can you imagine if they didn't die? I mean, look at the people around here. Can you imagine if these guys never died? <laughs> That'd be terrible. Absolutely terrible. Ladies, can I remind you that it's against the guidelines to copulate with anybody unless you are living with them. Do you understand? I live with my two cats. You live with your two cats. <laughs> Well, you're restricted to that then, although that, although that breaks another regulation though, so you're a bit stuck, I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's going to have to be you on your own on this one. 